Get ready, people, as there might be a chance for the MCU to present yet another pretty complex character who is volatile in nature because of his repressed persona that stems from his overpowered skill set. So powerful that he was compared to an evil version of DC Superman. Of course, I am talking about Robert Reynolds, aka Sentry, which is why I decided to take a first look into the character and tell you everything that I know so far about the entire thing. Right from the start of the main timeline of the MCU, we all like and live in today's world. Marvel has played with the idea of super soldier serums and all kinds of different amplifiers, everything in order to gain some kind of an advantage on the battlefield, a notion that started way back even before World War II. Hence, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, the first super soldier the MCU has seen, and the entire thing did not stop there. We have all been witnesses of many other factions and races trying to create the perfect individual. For instance, Adam Warlock, who we will see make his debut in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But that is not why I am here today. What I wanted to say was that for quite a while now, the MCU has tried to deliver lab-made characters through some kind of an amplifier, whether it is on a biological level or through some other means. One of these characters is also Robert Reynolds, aka Sentry, yet another super soldier that could potentially become part of the MCU. But before I dive deeper into that side of the story, I would like to take a journey through the character's origin story and how he came to be. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Back in 1947, remnants of United States Operation Rebirth, the process of creating super soldiers via serum, were still lingering after World War II, with the whole organization eventually becoming Project Century, hence the name of the character we are all here today to hear about. But what I wanted to point out is the fact that despite the war being over, many organizations still meddled with the super soldier serum side of things. In each and every iteration of the serum became even more potent than its predecessor. Before I continue, I would like to tell you that the character at hand is quite difficult to understand, simply because he is a complex character, on top of the fact that he is one of the most powerful beings in Marvel Comics, so powerful that many fans started to call him the evil Superman. Yeah, he's not someone you would want to cross paths with. But no matter the case, I'll try to give it my all to tell you all about him. So sit tight and enjoy. The Century has to be one of the strangest ideas Marvel Comics ever played with. Paul Jenkins and Rick Weiss came up with the idea for the character, a superhero the world has forgotten, one who was woven into the history of the Marvel Universe. Even before the character was created, the idea was to create a superhero that would feel like a Golden Age concept right down to his name, Robert Reynolds, a meth addict who stumbled upon a serum that granted him power beyond anything else in the Marvel Universe. The entire concept of his consumption of the compound was said to have given him the power of a thousand exploding suns, a serum that is regarded as one of the best, if not the best, iterations of it to this day. The Sentry was an optimistic and socially accepted hero who had close connections to the likes of the Fantastic Four, Iron Man, the Hulk, Spider-Man, and Professor X, his importance became noticeable when a new wave of heroes rose to hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in reality, when the new wave of heroes rose to prominence, eventually becoming a role model for many young heroes. So yeah, he was a big thing back in the day of the golden age of Marvel Comics. However, the power he possessed came with a catch. His sanity was questionable to say the least with Robert manifesting two personas throughout his superhero career, the Sentry and the Void. With the arrival of the Void, a shadowy monster that exploited its enemy's greatest fears, Sentry's charm life ended. Discovering that the Void was an evil manifestation of his powers, the Sentry teamed up with Reed Richards and Doctor Strange to create a system that would make every person on the planet, the heroes included, forget his existence, which eventually made the Void vanish. To put it shortly, the Void was simply Sentry's repressed persona, powered by his own powers. As the Void, he realized that he posed a threat to the very planet, with all memory of his very existence erased from human consciousness, with his memories taken all together. So you can see he is a tricky one, and Marvel Studios will have to dive deeper than ever before to bring the character to the live action, but it is not impossible. 
especially after seeing what Marvel is capable of so far. Many fans want the hero to make his debut in the MCU, and I get why that is. His introduction to the MCU could bring a lot to the table, because first and foremost, he is not all good or all bad. An interesting character, which would test Marvel Studios to the limits. Plus, he is a character that has been through a lot, and he's overcome so much. A Century Project would also make for an interesting addition to a more dynamic, tailor-made movie, or a TV show more suited for adult audiences, simply because of it probably being dark, gritty, and with a more violent tone than what we've been able to see so far in the MCU. And judging by how Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Werewolf by Night turned out, I have no doubt that a Century Project would be anything less than a huge success. As I mentioned before, for quite some time now, Century has been compared to the likes of DC Superman, and many will think this is a bad thing. On the contrary, any comparison between the two is valid and legit, and Marvel can bank on this popularity of his and the comparison between the two. With the project itself proving itself of being a beginning of a new era, much like Robert Reynolds' transformation in the comics. And before I move forward with a connection he has and where we could potentially see the character make his debut in the MCU, I would like to address one interesting detail connected to Sentry that Marvel Studios is eyeing Ryan Gosling to smash the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, Marvel Studios are supposedly eyeing him to play a major villain in the MCU, with the role at hand calling for a lead male between ages 30 and 50 in a description of a conflicted and powerful villain, along with a comparison to the aforementioned term of evil Superman. So yeah, Century is probably what is at stake. But this is just a rumor, speculation that could amount to nothing. So you should take this information with a grain of salt, as it could turn out to be just that. Speculation, nothing less, nothing more. As for when we could see Sentry make his debut in the MCU, well, according to my educated guess, there is one place I personally see him making an appearance during the rumored World War Hulk event, where he is called upon to help the others, despite the evil forces he could unleash because of his frail mental state and his repressed persona, the Void to emerge, who after denying to join in during the last possible moment, he arrives on the battlefield and nearly destroys what is left of New York. However, the entire thing ended with both of him and the Hulk burning themselves up and reverting back to Robert Reynolds and Bruce Banner respectively. A storyline from the comics that could very well become a thing in the MCU, with his absence so far explained through the fact of him not wanting to be part of the MCU so far, and him being locked away on the raft, SHIELD's most secure prison, on his very own recommendation. Whatever the case may be, there is a big chance that the MCU could see the appearance of the century, especially after the aforementioned casting rumors. And if everything turns out to be true, well, then this is the place where you heard it first. See you in the next video.